Hey guys, today I'm going to do another shoe review for you, and today I'm going to talk about the Hoka 1-1 Clifton 2. Now, a friend of mine sent me these to try out. Um, I have roughly about 100 miles on them. Um, still a lot of life left. Let me say, the first time I took them out, after about a quarter mile, I said to myself, this is the most amazing shoe ever made. And I proceeded to run 26.5 miles the first time out. Probably not the smartest thing to do, but they were just that nice. They have almost the same amount of cushioning as my Bondi's. Not quite as much, but, but close. And they are extremely light. I believe they're just a shade over 8 ounces. Um, everything seemed to be fine. Until about mile 20-ish, I started noticing a hot spot on my left foot. And unfortunately, it gave me one of the only blisters I've ever had running. And I have run multiple marathons, multiple ultras, and never had a blister. Unfortunately, this shoe put a huge blister on the side of my foot. Uh, they are 10 and a half, so that is the size I wear. Everything is appropriate as far as, you know, where my toes should be and everything else. I had heard they narrowed these up in the Clifton 2s. Apparently the Clifton 1s were a little wider and a little more stretchy. I did not get a chance to try those. The Clifton 3s are coming out in a couple months, and I've heard they've widened those back up, so I can't wait to buy those. In fact, it's a rarity I may pay full retail and get a set on day one or two for those just because with the exception of how tight they are my favorite shoe hands down out of any shoe I've ever run in I just can't run that far in them and I think if I sized up to an 11 they'd be too loose other places so with that said these should be going on clearance very very soon within the next month or two um, I encourage you to try them, especially if you can pick them up for $50 or $60. Um, I still wear these a lot, but I generally won't go over 13 or 14 miles in them now. That's about as far as I can go and not risk a blister. Um, but that's about all I have to say about them. Uh, extremely good shoe, just they messed up on the, on the fit in places, for me at least. So... That's where I'm going to leave that one. Not a whole lot else to say. So until next time, guys, take care of yourself and be kind to each other.